just let let's go with it. Okay, just be patient. So I'm starting right now. Hello, this is Waswo X Waswo, Evil O, and I'm in a very hot studio down here in Baroda with a uh, wonderful printmaker and somebody who's become a good friend, Subrat Behera from Odisha. Yes, Odisha. And he's a great fan of Evil O. Look, he even has a big photo of Evil O hanging on his wall. <laughs> For certain reasons, actually, but and he's painting my portrait currently, uh, or some uh, some uh, other uh, project. Yes. Anyway, I met Sabrat. Um, oh God, long time ago. Yeah, it's, I think two thousand nine. Uh, no, twelve. Two thousand twelve. I think two thousand ten or something. Oh, I think it was my uh, second year. Okay, two thousand twelve. I collected some of his lithographs and by the time the uh, traveling printmaking collection came to the National Gallery of Modern Art in Mumbai, um, I had added quite a few works of his to the collection and we displayed a large 16 panel lithograph in Mumbai, which was really quite something. Yeah, this is um, one of my first uh, panel works. I wanted to do uh, large in lithographs, but it was not possible in litho stones. So then I, uh, I thought, uh, let's make it panels. Yeah, I think that's one of your brilliant ways of working actually in, in doing these series of panels yeah. of lithos that all work together as one piece. Um, it seems much more practical in ways than trying to do very large pieces that are very impossible to frame and ship. So there's a practical reason to it, but also I think just conceptually it's beautiful to see a lot of little frames on the wall that make sort of a mosaic of one. Thing. So anyway, later Sabrat, uh, I invited him to be part of a collateral exhibition we had at the Kochi Biennale, which was called Sleeping Through the Museum, and I discovered he was an incredibly hard and meticulous worker. He was really brilliant to work with, and two years later he was invited back to the Kochi Biennale and had his own, uh, how many Willithos were in that suite? There were, there were uh, 58 panels. 58, a 58 panel litho suite in one room at the Kochi Biennale. It was just really exquisite and spectacular, I want to use the word. So I'm very impressed with Sabrat. I really like Sabrat. Thank but, you. But, okay, enough flattery. Now I have to ask you the questions. Yeah. So I, I want to ask you mostly uh, not so much about your art, but about your studio. Because when I collected art, so many young printmakers told me it was very difficult to um, continue on with their printmaking after school because they had no access to equipment. The main going over their head, I don't know if you can hear that. It's a little noisy here, so apologies for that. Um, but Sabrat really took the bull by the horns and just created his own studio. So do you want to tell, just tell how that all came about? Uh, well, uh I used to uh, work on lithographs uh, in, uh, during my bachelor. I started litho during my bachelor. And in my faculty, I'm passed from Vicky College of Art and Craft in Bhubaneswar. So Bhubaneswar have uh, some small uh, setup of lithographs. And they all, uh, my teachers are already permit the uh, senior students to work in lithographs, but I am a little naughty at that time, so I uh, use the night. You're still a little naughty. Yeah, I, I am. <laughs> so, and I um, request my senior uh, pass out students, whoever uh, work in, uh, like, study in uh, uh, Khairagad, Santiniketan, so I invite them, and uh, they, sometimes they teach, taught me a lot of uh, techniques actually. So, but after once I uh, finish my bachelor and when I back Baroda, so I apply, um, I applied four times actually. So during the period three years, I uh, tried a lot of studios in Baroda. So anyhow, maybe my works are not good or something. So I did not get any facilities, studios. So it was like uh, I challenged myself. Okay, let's see. I'll start my own studio one day. So, Lithuleka start from there actually. Okay. So So how did you fund it? I mean how did you get the money to put the studio together? You had some backers, right? 
Sorry, backwards. Backers, some people who came in and helped finance you. Ah, uh, well, uh, uh, when I uh, I was working mostly uh, uh, after pass out from MSU University, uh, I request uh, Bijay Babu sir. Uh, see, he uh, mostly helped me a lot. Uh, he permitted me to work in the faculty uh, studios actually. So during uh, the Kojim Binale projects. I found a little bit of uh, disturbance from the young students and everything. Obviously, it's natural things. So I have to manage uh, with so much crowd and everything. Then I was thinking, okay, why not at least a small, but my own studio. Yeah, because you were making 52 yeah, multi-colored prints and there were students around and it yes. was hard to get that done. Yeah. Yeah. So then, uh, after finishing the Binale project, so I was thinking, okay, let uh, plan something about my own little studio but I don't have my own uh, land own studio right now so mostly it's a rented studio and luckily I was just inquiring a lot of stones where to find some uh, stone so luckily one of my friend in Calcutta uh, he told me uh, he has some stones so let's buy it I thought okay let's buy it so and uh, it's like a two three lakhs so that phone's big for me at that time. It was the big stones money. were from an old commercial lithographer, yes, right? Yes, old commercial Calcutta. Uh, so uh, I have one of my friend who uh, run a company. Uh, it's a local friend. So I used to uh, do a job in his company uh, for ad advertising. So I just told her about the story that I'm planning to start a studio and I need the stone. So I have to buy it as quickly. So he told me how much money you want. So when I initially I need only uh, two lakhs for the stone only. Then all the things I will start. So he helped me. Uh, and now uh, I brought the first stones. He gave me some credits. Uh, then uh, I request um, Robbie Engineering from Baroda. Uh, okay. I told him. Uh, I asked them that okay, I'm planning to start my own studio. Uh, can you help me a little bit? So they are good in uh, engineering and everything. They mostly uh, set up uh, litho machines and uh, etchings, lot of print making equipments. So they are also good people. They okay. Uh, don't worry. We'll uh, build. We'll help you uh, to set up your studio. So it's like a EMI. So I uh, start giving him money slowly, slowly, slowly. So anyhow, I started the. Uh, machine and I got the stones and small small equipment such that So buying. now you have, I'm, I'm just going to interrupt you, really. so now you have a rented space. Yeah, this is a rented space. Right? But it's quite large yeah. and you've got a fully functional litho machine, Yeah. printing press, yes. very nice. How many stones do you have? Uh, now we have, uh, I have uh, 62. 62 stones? I think 65. Yeah. 65. 65, okay, so that's a lot of good quality and, yes. and these stones are difficult to find in India I understand. Yeah it's difficult but I think uh, there is some old factories in Calcutta maybe Hyderabad something uh, maybe there are a lot of stones are still available in India but we have to find it. So let's talk about how Litholeka works. Um, the way I understand it you don't really envision it as a collective I mean this is your studio but you're, you're opening it up to other people to work in at times, correct? Yeah, the first vision was uh, when I uh, planned to start a studio, it was totally, uh, I planned it, it was totally for me actually, but uh, then I realized uh, if I have a lot of things, I have all the equipment and everything, uh, then why not I open for the young students, whoever wants to come, want to ex experiment with lithographs or something. So at least I can teach them, so that I can also learn. Right. So that's how I uh, we plan. Uh, I um, invite uh, two, three of my friends uh, like Satyajit Abe, Jitendra Jha, Margi Patel. Uh, they're uh, like young people. So there's uh, some kind of our team. Members. So yeah. So then we plan. To, okay, let's make it public. So whoever want to uh, experiment, whoever want to work will uh, give them chance and also I'll tease them. Okay. But they have to reach a certain standard. I mean you basically have to approve. Yeah we have to we have to think something out. For the newcomers we mostly uh, plan two three workshops in a year. Whoever want to learn then they can attend a workshop something like but 
whenever we uh, select some uh, students, like some recent pass out artists, they have to pass some certain criteria. So the other question I wanted to ask Sabrat was about, he started something I think is quite nice, which he calls, I believe, Litholeka Editions. And actually, I was, I think, one of the first artists, not the first, the first one was Jody Bhatt, I think. Yeah, this is uh, stories. Actually, Jyoti sir, I, we request him to inaugurate the studio. So, he uh, visited our studio, actually. So, he inaugurated the studio. That time, uh, we have a blank stone, actually. So, one of my friends, Dushan Patel. So, he requested Jyoti sir, ki, sir, uh, just start our studio. Uh, do some drawings on the stone actually. Right. So that's how he uh, quickly did a small drawing. It's a very two minutes uh, sketch something. So there's so anyhow he is our first actor. He's your first. I love Jody Bat. I mean he's how old is he now? He's in his eighties or something, right? Oh, yeah, he's getting old. Anyway, so that was a great inauguration for the the edition and then you called me down. And I came down with RBJ yes. and Shankar Kumar. No, before I uh, like or did you have somebody friendly, else? Uh, friendly actually Walter De Souza. Uh, oh, Walter De Souza came. Okay. Yes, uh, know, he did uh, some quick sketches. It's not the project work, but he's okay. just interested to do some sketches and everything. And before um, uh, I uh, invite uh, Brindavan Salonki sir, Brindavan Salonki. But anyhow, it's our fault that uh, we just spoiled the work actually. Okay. This is a technical issue, so. There are technical anyhow, issues yeah. in lithography that sometimes yeah, it doesn't. So anyhow, that project did not work out. Okay. So we're planning to invite again. Okay, good. Yeah. So then, when did I come down? What number was I? I wasn't first or second. You were third. I was third. Yes, okay. Third and first. Demoted to third. I thought. But I was uh, first. basically, the projects uh, I'm working, uh, you were the first actually, because uh, the size and everything uh, ah. we plan during your work actually. So we are also requesting, uh, planning to invite Jyoti sir again to do one more same size work. To do a semi, uh, work, Yeah, right. the project work actually. Well, we came down with RVJ, the miniaturist, and Shankar Kumar, a border painter, and they both spent, I think, two days painting on the stones. And how long did it take you to pull the prints? It seemed like it took uh, a long time. We need uh, one month. It was one month fully. Yeah, fully one months months for, uh, to complete the prints. And how many colors did you do? I forget. Six layers, I think. Six different colors. Uh, because your miniature has a different color. And you did some translucent yeah. paint. And but it was very color. challenging for us. Because uh, my practice uh, and uh, your practice are totally different. And it was quite a learning process also. And we learn a lot. Uh, that whistling is a truck outside. We're not being raided yet. But, you know. Yeah. Maybe in the future. This is Gujarat. Oh. <laughs> uh, uh, this is coffee. Gujarat, I'd like you to know this is coffee. It's not whiskey, it's coffee. <laughs> just, just so that the Gujaratis know, in case they're concerned. So, you started with the Leka Editions and you plan to have many more artists contribute to that? Yeah, we are planning actually. So, the first year actually I did a lot of research actually. Because Indian, because whatever the color we used, those colors are not actually archived actually. And if I am doing a lot of hard work in a stones and after those four or five years the color are become fed, then it's not a, it's a big problem actually. So, then I uh, start searching the colors and everything. So now we are buying the colors from the US. Uh, so I request Robbie Inger Engineering from Baroda. So they uh, started dealing uh, dealership with uh, Hanko Archival Litho Inks. So now Litho uh, Inks are available in India. So it, uh, those inks are archival. You're really big on using the best quality material. Yes, and I already tested those inks actually. So I kept um, one uh, Hanko ink print and one my previous print. So I kept in the sunlight, directly sunlight. So after 10 days, uh, my Indian inks, uh, Indian ink prints became fair, it became blue. But uh, uh, the Hanko inks, after three months or so, the ink are still same. This is actually the uh, first year I, uh, it took me a lot of time to uh, collect the materials, uh, to search some good quality of pencils. Well, I really admire you because not only are you a good artist, but you're very entrepreneurial. And he's a really hard worker. He works all the time. You know, 
know, that's one thing about Socrat, he is just a worker bee, and I like worker bees, that's like a good thing to be. So I think we should probably end it, I don't like these to get too long. It's probably yeah. about 20 minutes, yeah? Yes, 20 Mr. minutes. Mr. Socrat, no, the minutes. hair. It's not? How long do you think it's been? Seems like 20 minutes, yeah? Okay. No, it's not 20 See? minutes. Yeah, it's 20 minutes. No, it's not 20 minutes. Anyway, this is Evil O, Wazo X Wazo with Subrat Behera from Litholeka in Baroda. Yeah. Goodbye.